welcome once again to the KE show. My name is KE and this is the KE show. My people, oh my God, first of all, I want to say thank you. I want to appreciate you for the constant love, support and watch that you guys have been giving me. I'm overwhelmed. Before I used to always count my number of views, I will say we have 1,000, we have 2,000. People of God, I have lost count. I have lost count and it can only be God. After God, now you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Something very emotional. Oh, yes. Something very emotional happened this afternoon on my way to work. And I made, I took a very short video, about 30 seconds video of what happened this afternoon. Let us go and watch the video. And when I come back, I have a very short story I would like to share with you all on this channel. I am KE Sichoy and this is the KE Show. I is coming back. Say hi to the camera. Hey, what's up? See your man. <laughs> just looking at him and just, just came into the train. That's true. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you. <laughs> when I was working at the airport back then as a ramp agent, there was this guy. Personally, I used to call him Papa Ghana. And uh, I up to now, I don't know his real name, but I know he's Ghanaian. And people in people that work with us, they have a name, they, they call him like his first name because you know in Canada, if they want to call you, they will call you your name. Nothing like uncle, auntie, brother. But I'm an, I'm a well brought up African boy. So if I see an advanced African man, if I see a boy say in name now Frank, I'll say hi Frank. If I see a white man, his name is her name is Julian, I'll say hi Julian. But if I see we oui, we, oui, I'll say bros, epa. Papa, Mama, Daddy, you understand? So, this guy used to work with us in the airport and I used to call him Papa Ghana and he likes the name so much. But now, old man, one day I sat down with him and I was, we were waiting for baggages to come out from, I think it was Air Tunisia or something. And I asked him one question. I said, ah, Papa, you don't the old though. How long have you worked in this airport? And he said he has worked in the airport for 16 years. 16 years I asked him ah, why why is that the case blah 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 he said many years ago in the early 2000s when he was in Ghana when he just started life he was an architect architect those way put a draw house he said then they got an information that used to happen back in Lagos so what he said was they used to move from Ghana to Lagos to come and use fake passports and fly from MM1 to Canada. Hey! You don't take away Lagos, they run things. So. <laughs> so he said they got the information in Ghana, in Accra back then, that if you come to Lagos, you can use fake passport and come to Canada. So there were plenty that came from Accra to Lagos. From Lagos, they got passport, they paid money, they got on flight and they came here and find refugee. He said getting here, it was difficult to get a job. So he started doing this warehouse work, warehouse work, from warehouse work, he now started working in the airport. And one good thing with the airport work is that it, it doesn't pay so well, but it pays good, it pays enough money for you to be able to pay your bills, pay your rent, pay for your car, and still send money back to Ghana. And he said that he tried his best to get into the architecture industry in Canada. But you understand, I understand how it's almost impossible for you with your skills from Africa to come here and naturalize in the system. And for many people who are in this country, you will, you will share with this knowledge that you see people who are bank managers in Nigeria, people who are big, big people in Nigeria, when they come here, because of that, that difficulty in having to naturalize in this system, you then have to settle for what you are doing. If it's Uber you are driving, if it's airport you are working, if it's warehouse you are working, then you then try to grow in rank in those places. But there was something Apagana told me that day in the airport that I just heard, but now I'm experiencing it. He said he doesn't regret though, but he wish he didn't give up looking for how to settle in the system in terms of being an architect here. Even if it was supposed to take him like going back to school in Canada, that he was so comfortable with that airport work. He has houses in Ghana. He said he travels back to Ghana now because he works in the airport. So he has like flight room and all of that stuff. But he advised me that you see that thing I came here to find. 
that I should not settle until I find that thing. And that day, we just talked like normal talk, and then it passed. Normally, I've always had this dream of becoming a TV superstar. I've always believed that I'm funny, but I don't think I want to be a comedian. When I was looking for what I want to become, then I then stumbled on the opera show. The opera, I then also realized that Oprah Winfrey was also born on January 29th with me. So I've always admired Oprah. I've always wanted to be that guy who does, who has like a TV show. I've written several, even back in Nigeria, STV, Wazobia TV. I've written several shows to people and it always comes back with, we can't help you. We can't help you. Even this YouTube channel, for this YouTube, I saw YouTube as somewhere where I just come to lament. I just come to just talk rubbish. I just come to say things that is wrong with me. But the past few, let me say the past few weeks have been, it has been like an eye opener. The past few weeks have showed me that your dreams are not invalid. And this is me telling myself and also telling somebody out there that you might have come into this country as anyhow you come in as a student as anything and maybe what you are in nigeria maybe you're working as a caregiver or you are working in the warehouse or something there is something that keeps you up at night or there's something that used to keep you up at night and for some reason you are slowly losing interest in that thing because you just assume that oh my sabi so i cannot i can't become bank manager in this country I can't become um, mayor. I can't become prime minister. I can't become a TV superstar because I have an accent. Because I they talk like this. Who will give me a show in Canada to host? Today, somebody I don't know, somebody I don't know just woke up to me and is like, ah, are you this person? At first, I was scared. Who knows the police? <laughs> Who knows if it's police or FBI? The guy say, are you this person? Yeah, I look at his phone. I saw my picture there. I say, yes, sir. He say, ah, funny guy. The guy that was beside him, he said, this guy is a funny guy. Fun You're the guy on YouTube. Ah. I was so happy because I just felt like this thing that I'm doing here, people are actually watching it. Because there's a video I made a few weeks back. That video now has 50,000 views. And some days I would just sit and think, does it mean that 50,000 people in this world have watched my video? I just sit down and imagine it, and I'm like, it no go possible. Do you know what is 50,000? <laughs> when Nigeria woke up to me today, since that afternoon, till now, I've been thinking that if this small YouTube video, what they do, why they talk rubbish, is bringing this kind of reception, this kind of comment, how about we put in effort and really focus and go back to those dreams we had back then? Those dreams of being a TV superstar, those dreams of having my own show on TV, it's still possible. And I'm making this video for myself and also for you out there because I know many of my viewers are immigrants or wanna be immigrants. And coming into a new country, trust me, it's, it's, it's not always talked about exactly how it is. There is so many struggles. There are so many things to, to learn and unlearn. You will say, oh, this my field is not working. Let me find that field. But I just want to, I just want to tell you one thing. I'm telling myself to not give up. Ah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Not give up. This is YouTube, so I, I'm seeing you YouTube, this YouTube channel as, as a sign. Say, get where they go. <laughs> Make one of them look my face, so you get where they go. As I'm going there, when I go follow me. Yes, now. You know what we say? Oh, yeah, yeah, one yeah. Make man no forget his brother or sister. We will go together. So I just want to just drop this short video. You know, go too long. I don't talk finish. I want to just first of all appreciate that guy who walked up to me and say, "You really, really now you can inspire me." And those that keep on watching my videos, those that keep on commenting, shout out to Nick Nicole Ashwan. <laughs> Nicole, they comment on all my video consistently. Shout out to Nicole. I think that's the name. That's the name that that's just in my head. But shout out to all of you who keep on commenting, who keep on sharing, who keep on saying, okay, good job. Those guys that reach out to me on Instagram are the best. Oh my God. Those guys are the best. Those who come to my Instagram and share me tips and say, okay, you do this, do this next, do this next. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I want to just tell you that that thing that, that your dream that you had, 
that you are forgetting. Baba, focus. G Masu, wake up. You see, I'm doing my videos now in the night. So to show you, say, even for night at midnight, you take my phone there. I'm going to show you the time. This is 120. Time I suppose they use, I'm going be fine, boy. Yo. Hey, yo. I'll be fine, boy. Yo. Now, money, I never, if money there, I know what I go do. <laughs> so this midnight, I will still come out to make videos to edit and post. So that thing that keeps you awake in the night, my brother, keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Ego must work. The show die. Over over 365.0, it must work. As we round up this year of 2023, we want to appreciate everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. From this channel to you, we are we are great. I'm just my heart is full of joy and gratefulness today. And I just said, let me just come here and thank you all for the support thus far. And say and to tell you that this is just the beginning. The journey. They will never break many pass. You know the matter. You know the matter. Till I my next video. My next video. I want to address LGBT. Mm, sorry. L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-O-S-T in Canada. <laughs> so I went for an interview and something happened. And they asked me a question regarding LGBTQ in Canada. The answer I gave. Mm, I'll say that in my next video. Till I come your way, same time, same YouTube channel. My name is KECJ, and this is the KE Show. For now, from me to you, it go be.